hey how's going on youtube welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video today i'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize pubg for better fps get better performance fix lags and stutter and in this video we're going to be covering how you can optimize your pc as well as your game so make sure to stick around at the end of this video and with all that said let's get started with the intro All right, once you're in the desktop, what you have to do is simply search for settings onto your PC. So simply look up for settings and then click on personalization. Head over to colors and then disable transparency effects as this will reduce unwanted animations. Then head over to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. It will disable the game bar, which is actually an overlay service which runs in the background, consumes your important system resources. Then click on the graphics button underneath and enable optimizations for windowed games as this will reduce unwanted input latency. Click on advanced graphic settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as this will help you to utilize your primary graphic card to render the game. Once you're done with that, you have to click on add the desktop app button over here. Find your game, double click on that, head over to DSL game, binaries, win64 and then open up the DSL game.exe. Hit add and once that is added, scroll down to find it. Set the GPU preference to high performance and once that is done, it will utilize your primary graphic card to render the game on highest performance possible. Step number two is compatibility settings and for that, you can open up Steam, right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. This is the easiest way to get into the game directory. Head over to TSL game, binaries, win64 and then you'll find your TSL game.exe. Right click on that, head over to properties, select compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations. This will help you to fix black screen issues in the game. Then click on change IDPI settings, select this option, click on OK and apply to reduce input latency. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is disabling background applications. And for that, you have to search for edit group policy on your PC, open it up. And once you're over here, double click on computer configuration, then administrative templates, then windows components and then app privacy. Here you'll find let windows apps run in the background, double click to open it up and make sure that this is enabled. Then under the options, you'll find default for all apps. All you have to do is simply set this into Force deny. Click on apply and this will deny all of the applications running in the background. But before moving ahead, I want to introduce you guys to Ezus Voice Wave, which is absolutely amazing voice changer. It is a real time AI voice changer for gamers, streamers, and everybody else. You guys can come to the link in the description below and download it for free. It supports a ton of games and it has a ton of features over here. Once you open up the application, it has more than 350 voices to choose from. And you can also switch between performance priority and voice quality priority, depending upon if you want to use it for real time or if you want to use it for post production. You can simply select any voice such as Cristiano Ronaldo over here and adjust your volume and the pitch to sound more lifelike. And here is how I sound like as Cristiano Ronaldo. The voice is absolutely amazing. It is title free and the switching is also very simple. Let's say I want to speak as a ghost. Just with one click, I can switch my voice with a perfect pitch and the perfect volume. Apart from that, it has an inbuilt voice changer where you can upload a file or you guys can record your sound right into the application to change your own voice. Simply come to the settings and all you have to do is select your microphone, add your headphones and you're good to go. There's a Christmas sale going on at Aesis where you can get up to 68% off on Aesis Voice Wave. Simply come to the link in the description below and copy and redeem this code to get yourself the voice changer at an absolute discounted rate. Make sure you guys go check out Isis Voice Wave for absolutely free from link in the description below. Next step is disabling SysMain and for that simply search for services on your PC and once you're here press S and then find SysMain. Double click to open it up and make sure that the startup type is set to disabled. Click on apply and if this service is already running click on stop. SysMain actually consumes up to 20% of your CPU and RAM resources and you do not want that so simply disable that. It helps you to optimize the performance of your PC. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point and once you're over here so click on local disk c select create and then type in pubg so you can remember it i would highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss once that is done click on close and close system properties the next step is the pubg season 39 fps back i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below which has six very simple yet useful folders first one is cpu priority which is designed to optimize the performance of your cpu by setting up the correct d word values if you have an amd cpu you can double click and apply the amd cpu priority and if you have an intel cpu you, you can apply the Intel CPU priority. Second one is RAM optimization which helps you to optimize the performance of your RAM. I have left a ton of registries over here and to apply one for your PC you have to search for system information, open it up and select install physical memory. It is 32 GB for me so all you have to do is apply that and if that doesn't work out well for you guys you can always reset it back to default. 
third one here is PUBG priority in which I have left all of these priorities. You need to apply one from them and for that you have to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left all of the services which are running in the background of your PC and disabling them is really essential if you want to optimize your FPS. Simply start double clicking and applying every single one of them. Simply start double clicking and applying every single one of them except if you use any Bluetooth or printer services. Just skip them. And once again if you want to revert any of them back again, use the revert registries folder to turn them back on. The fifth folder here is batch tweaks which includes memory compression, process mitigation and latency tweaks. I'd recommend you guys to right click and run every single one of them as administrators. Since I've already done that, I'm going to be skipping it. These will help you to optimize your RAM your CPU as well as your input latency. You can also edit them in Notepad to see exactly what are the settings that it is going to change. And to revert them, all you have to do is simply change this disable to enable, save it and run it again. Last folder here is programs in which I have left clean temporary files. You wanna have to right click in the non it is administrator. Click on yes and once it opens up, press enter. This will start deleting all temporary files on your PC. Once you're done deleting them, simply press enter. And I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then because it helps you clean the cache files and optimize the performance of your PC. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0. Right click and then run it as administrator. The simple software allows you to optimize the performance of your graphics card. Simply select your GPU here, click on the MSI button next to it, and for the interrupt priority, select high. Click on the apply button, and this will set up the correct interrupt priority for your graphic card. Last is the Pro PC Optimizer V1.2. This is a one click PC optimization tool. Double click to apply it, click on yes. And once it opens up, it is a badge file. All you have to do is press enter two times and this will create a restore point which will actually save any of the settings that is made prior to this. Allow it a while to let it run in the background. And once that is done, press enter and this will start applying all of the important tweaks on your PC. All of that at just one click and none of them harms your PC in any way. Once that is done, all you have to do is simply close the FPS pack. The next step is fixing all of your packet loss, ping issues, network issues and all of the other input delay issues using no ping. I have left a free download link to no ping right in the description below for all of you guys to go and check it out for yourself. No ping opens up like this and it has a library of more than 1000 games to choose from. All you have to do is simply search for PUBG over here and select the game. Once you've selected it, it will ask you to select a game server. You can simply select the one which shows you the lowest amount of ping. You can see it under the recommended section. All you have to do is simply click on optimize automatically and click on optimize game. Then it helps you to one click optimize and connect your PC straight to the game servers without any hindrance giving you the lowest ping possible. And if that is not enough, it has a dedicated boost FPS section where it has all of the FPS boosting tools right within itself. No ping is actually great if you guys want to fix all of your network issues, ping issues and latency issues and I have left a free download link and a free trial link to Noping right in the description below for you guys to go and check it out. Try Noping for yourself and let me know how it works for you guys. Next step is defragging and optimizing disk drives. And for that, simply search for defrag and optimize drives on your PC. And over here, I want to make it clear that if you have a solid straight drive, you're not actually defragging your SSD, but you're trimming your SSD. But if you have a hard disk drive, you're defragging it. There is a difference between trimming and defragging and trimming is actually beneficial for your SSD. So if you have your SSD on your local SC, simply click on optimize and this will start trimming your SSD. And once again, if it is a hard disk drive, simply click on analyze and let it run. And after that, click on optimize to start defragmenting it. Both of them is actually great and beneficial for your disk drives. So click on the change setting button over here, select run on a schedule and then simply set the frequency to daily. Also select increase task priority and you can choose between the drives. I have already selected all of the drives over here and once that is done, click on OK and simply close it. Next step is cleaning up your shader cache. This will basically help you to optimize your shaders by recompiling it. All you have to do is simply search for disk cleanup on your PC and select your local disk C. This is where all of the shader cache is. Select a DirectX shader cache, delivery optimization files, recycle bin and thumb tree files as well. Make sure that everything over here is selected and click on OK. Select delete files and this will clean all of your shader cache. Once that is done, all you have to do is wait. The next step is actually restarting your PC and dropping into the game for the best in game settings. 
All right, once you're in your game, head over to settings and then click on settings over here. Then for the graphics, make sure that your display mode is borderless or full screen. Both of them works absolutely fine. Leave the lobby and in-game frame cap to unlimited and smoothen frame rate should be set to disabled. After that, head over to advanced. For the overall graphics quality, you guys have to go with medium and post processing should be set to very low, shadows low, textures medium, effects low, foliage low, view distance disable, v-sync disable, motion blur disabled and for the DirectX version you guys can go with DX12 or DX11 enhanced whichever gives you the best FPS possible. Once that is done click on the apply button and after that you can play your game with the highest fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button because you are really close to 150 000 subscribers and your support will be appreciated a ton i'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out